I don't know if there's anything differently. He usually starts Fox. I guess it's just first Rob. Three, two, one, Let's see. Go. If Jerry can like w like weather the storm on a uh, player of ZD's aggression, it's gonna show a lot. I think in the first game we're gonna see if if Jerry can really handle ZD going all out, which I assume is he's gonna do, and just kind of do like ZD things, or or ZD might just realize, okay, this guy can't do with my aggression. And this is gonna be this is gonna be a quick set. This is it all the way in losers finals? Dude, Jerry's coming out here. Bro, Jerry. He's been coming out here. He's been getting like top four so much. He's doing the thing. But I mean, ZD is a monster. Although, me and Jerry actually spoke about this match. Okay. Um, because he, he lost to ZD, and I was just pointing out little things he could have done differently. I'm like, hey, you should edge guard with this. You should do that. Because at first, he's like, this is my first time really fighting Fox. I didn't know what to expect. He's like, next mm -hmm. time, I'll kind of be a little more prepared. Um, okay. It's some of those things where, you know, down tilting the ledge. Um, when he goes for illusion. And mm -hmm. at first, Jerry Jerry argued with me, and then he tried it. He's like, by the way, this is godlike, yeah. and that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jerry! On the note. Jerry! I mean, you can argue with all you want, but if you watch, like, MK Leo, he does that, like, his, like all the time. It's not like a... An, it's, a it's a thing you can see the top-level jokers do, so clearly yes. it's reliable. Um, personally, I'm a big advocate that if Fox goes off stage, he should die every time. So whenever Fox recovers, I'm okay. like, yo, man, you deserve to lose. And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, you left Fox on stage. If you let him on stage, then that happens. Yeah. Bad things happen when Fox is on stage. So you get him off and you don't let him back. Don't let bad things happen. I mean, if it was Fox, I understand, man. He has wings. But Fox? Come on, man. Don't let him back. A lot of really good up smashes out of shield from Jerry uh, in this set and versus last set to stop people who are trying to land on a shield before it even happens. Knowing that the Nair is safe on shield if he, uh, if he times it right, he just has the preemptive up smash out of shield to catch him. So I think I think that ZD, uh, yeah, so far he's been doing the all aggressive thing, but he's starting to respect Jerry a bit more and being like, okay. Well, you have to. Yeah. Um, I mean, Jerry 1 is making adjustments, but uh, okay. I think up smash might have killed there, but it's okay. But there's also like little things that a lot of people are unaware of about Fox that are exploitable. Um, such as the fact, you know, up tilt's not safe on shield. So many people let Fox get away with that. Those were down to a little bit too early. But not the end of the world. 97 to 109. Obviously, you know ZD's going to want that Nair. Jerry is looking like he wants to go for a one hit there into up air drag down. The dash attack, I guess, was supposed to guarantee to cover the tech in place and the roll away. Thank you, little recovery. F tilt. Okay. What's the edge guard attempt? We're going for it. We, we got the down tilt. Learned. I like it into oh the up air. God. That is looking kind of textbook right yeah, now. Yeah, he's, he's having it down. I mean, a player, I mean, I know it's a different game, but I mean, edge guarding Fox is edge guarding Fox. You play melee, you play ultimate. They're very different ways. I mean, it's not the same recovery, but it's something. Same principle. The same, it's the same, yeah, same fundamental, same principle. I'm going to make him pay me. I'm going to be like, Gary, if you beat CD, I need 10%. I'm like, why? And we're like, because you weren't edge guarding Fox. And we argued about this for a week. <laughs> we were actually on Twitter arguing about this. And then later he's like, all right, you were right. So I'm going to be like, yo, I need 10% because you weren't, you had no shot. You heard like, it here first. Melee players don't know how to edge guard Fox. I mean, yeah, bro. I just, they're like, what do you mean? I got a two frame? Well, I'm used to an hour. Yeah. And we have uh, we have Jerry having the lead in the very first game. Nothing I would have personally expected, but I mean, Jerry's honestly one of the fastest growing players I've ever seen. So being able to, oh, I, oh, love, that was I love when they okay, lose. Okay, I like it, ZD. That was sick. But you are indeed at 60. Grab I mean, attempt, nope. Let's not let's not forget that Fox is the bottom five lightest characters in the entire game. Yo, what the Kirby. Oh, ZD reactions. Not late enough. I like it. Okay, how we. He got wow. it. That's huge. You got to go down there. And he does wow. go down there. And the stock, is it gone? Does he make it back? Goes for the downer, not able that. to find his mark. But what if? But what if? He just, he, we li he did die. He did die. I thought I thought he was going to live. <laughs> ZD is like, by the way, don't care who you are. This is my turf. You can have a lead. That was a roller coaster that of emotions. It was. Like, oh. I was so excited for Jerry. That was such an innovative edge guarding. I was so excited from ZD. Is that, side, I was is, that com is that a thing? The side, guns? The, no, the, the, the side snap. Beat. The side beat. The Leo, the Leo does a little bit. Jerry really likes it. That was okay. one of the things we discussed. Is he says, I really like using side beat edge guarding. And I was like, double go I was like, down oh, tilt it. But we have ZD switching to Roy. Because he knows he Dude, stole yeah, that. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm officially a thief after this. He's fine. He went the whoo. All right, all right, all right. We're going to. We did. We need to switch. What's crazy is if Jerry would have actually had the down air correct. That's another thing we discussed, which he said he was working on, was the down air. Um, because you can you can two frame Fox with the down air and you hit him away as long as you're not you're doing facing you the correct direction. What did you tell this man, dude? He made he made edge guarding Fox look like just like 
the bread and butter, the clip they that's, get every time. To be thing. honest, the he only edge guard in like three different yeah. ways. That's yeah, it's that's Fox should not come back. Wolf, all right, bro. I don't know how to edge guard Wolf, but when it comes to the Falco and Fox, I got you covered. So we see him uh, getting the guns, to trying to guard Roy. Uh, it's to get some chip damage, so it's, it's just free damage. It's not gonna, it's not gonna kill him or anything though. Something really good here that Roy has. Um, if Fox kind of has it, but Roy is known for this. Is that he can kill early, like as we see here. He's extremely, early, extremely but, early, and which it's is pretty safe. Yeah, so we can we can make a uh, very, very little use come out of Jerry's Arsene, which is obviously huge. It's what makes can we talk about the sound of these hits, bro? Like it's, it sounds like a movie theater. <laughs> Just like every time, it's like wow, man, this is a huge action team. <gasps> Yo, was it. that was that um like a last second sour spot up air into up air? He's looking nice. All right, but I don't think he's making it back. Could be. Oh, no, he missed. This is uh, huge. I wanted to mention how Jerry uh, ended up pairing a falling up air from CD. Very smart stuff from Jerry to know that, OK, we better fall. I know you're going to up air, and you only have one second to do it. And he gets the parry. Probably makes uh, ZD think twice about doing a falling up airs on shield, which usually get high reward if they hit. Or they hit when they on shield. Gets back, tries to get the grab after, not finding its mark. F tilt. Ooh, if guns connect, he might be able to take this. No. I feel like Jerry's looking so comfortable. He is out. You can also footstool off the, uh, the guns. He did the Pokemon trainer thing. Where you do the you do the tether the tether grab and then you instantly jump out of it. I can mix up. I mean it, it's clean. It, that's one thing that I he, he's worked on very I, I, he's worked on a lot is stuff oh out of the tether. Oh my. Uh, we see ZD and Jerry both getting insane mileage out of their nice out of their parries. So the big difference I'm seeing here is that our set is becoming less and less of a factor when you play Roy because he can kill so early. And Ow, rapid damage? That hurt me. Jeez, yo, yo how, how'd you get our sin? Well, I got that ass waxed. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then when he gets the, he's getting just like, oh, that was a solid string. That's not, that's not extremely common, but um, the big thing here is that he gets a kill so early, but if ZD can show, he can just rack up damage too, then it's a whole package. What's it gonna be? Almost gets the frame trap with the air dodge. It's just, oh my god. I feel like ZD just has everything uh, working out from here. He can kill Arsene extremely early. He has his conversions down. Doesn't have to worry as much about being edge guarded. Like, as we see here, yeah, it takes some chip damage, but he's not going to die for it. Right a Fox. It really just is a whole, uh, a whole different game than the first one. Where, like, his biggest weakness was being edge guarded. And now she's not there. And on top of that, he's even more strengths. He switches to it. And I haven't really seen. Jerry be able to ledge trap him. Jerry was very good at ledge trapping biggest Joe. Oh my god, calls the jump, and that's that's game two. So ZD has actually gotten like many a kills. Many a kills off these ledge trapping. We saw him earlier, he just got a show, just the jump call out, he got a back air. But Jerry's not really getting that same uh, the same grace, I guess. He's not getting any any ledge trapping kills. Getting harder to edge guard, which was getting a lot of his mileage the first game. So a big difference between the first and second game is that it didn't even get to ledge trapping because Jerry could kill him when he was edge guarding. But now that now that he's at least allowed back the ledge, he's showing, okay, if I get the ledge, I get back to stage. I'm not afraid of your ledge trapping. I'm just afraid of your edge guarding. Yep. ZD staying Roy, of Wait, course. Um, Jerry? Well, I saw him practicing Wolf earlier. I, I will say Jerry is, he's an advocate of top tiers, okay? Okay. Um, which I always respect. I understand. Yeah, when people too, are like, to... oh, no, I can't believe it's because your character's good. I'm just like, this is a competition. Like, <laughs> And also, people don't understand, like, I know from a spectator point, it's really enjoyable to watch low tiers. But it's you have to work very, very hard to go to these characters, and it's stressful. Like, it's it's a lot, a lot, a lot of extra work, extra time. For sure. And it's not even guaranteed to be reliable. Like, you might work harder than everyone and, and still so, not get yeah. the results. So, like, it's just it's tough. Plus, plus, Wolf is sick. Roy is sick. I don't care what you guys say. Nah, bro. All spaces Wolf, are Wolf, sick. Wolf tilts me, I'll be honest. Yeah. Spaces are I think Fox and Falco are sick, but Wolf has scarred me, okay? I've been damaged in my soul. I mean, living in this region, it's 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 what you have to accept. Bro, I started in Brawl. You guys forget that. <laughs> Seagull true. Joe was using Wolf back in Brawl. Did I win? Generally, but it was terrifying. Yeah, People were like, what's your, what's your biggest fear? And I was like, a wolf killing me. And they're like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, man. And they're like, have you seen a wolf in real life? Nah, bro, but I, it's in my dreams. You know, it's not the same thing as that. that they're both called wolf, man. They're both wolves. So um, something I want to know here, Jerry uh, coming into this game from Melee, working really, really hard and doing amazing results so far with Joker. How much time has he actually had to come to the wolf? But he's, he's gotten that good with Joker that fast. You have to think. It's hard to say. Um, 
But I mean, right now he, he's keeping it competitive. He is a down smash away from taking the stock. But another thing to note here is that uh, with, I mean, the elephant in the room is that ZD's secondary is Wolf. It's not like he doesn't understand Wolf. He knows yeah. Wolf. He knows I mean, how to play against Wolf. He's he's done it to Dexter. He's done it to Seagull Joe. He's made both of them switch off the character as well. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's very exciting. It just I just feel I like. Jerry is a very smart player we've seen many times, but I think he hasn't been here. He hasn't done this that many times with a character like Wolf. He's he's been here a good amount of times now with Joker to have a uh, being comfortable, but this is, might be a first for him playing this Wolf. Is it or has he? Has he I've out never Wolf seen the Wolf in before? bracket yet. And then without out pushing against like ZD, that's tough. Man. I mean, I respect the confidence. I mean, to be I fair, the Joker did get worked. Like yeah, the, yeah. the Roy worked the Joker. Let's be real. I gotta respect the confidence. But it's not over. Let's. Let's, let's see what we can pick up here. We just—I feel like ZD's been getting things better, uh, easier. I think like you said, it's not over, but it's over. Like I was like, I, I felt it. I was just like, yo, it's. I uh, to take note is regardless of what character, he actually got like three 